Sunday swap are flipping the ISO. We're doing a reverse ISO now. And also I have some news about an exchange listing for Bitru. Pretty interesting, pretty cool, all coming up in this episode. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get- hey everyone, I'm Peter Beery. If this is your first time here, thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell, and you hear more great Cardano content from me. The Sunday Swap team have put out an announcement for what they call a reverse ISO. So all this delegation has been going to these uh, ISO pools for Sunday Swap. And you know they did this because they didn't want to set up their own stake pools and draw in all the delegation from that. They learned from other ISPOs in the community and we could see that this was damaging the ecosystem in general and creating that centralization of stake. But you know, these stake pools, including us, are gaining all this delegation. We have like 40 stake pool operators with I think 80 or so so stake pools, they're trying to flip that narrative and spread out all that delegation and enticing users to move off those particular stake pools and onto the other stake pools that were participating in the voting system that they did earlier on and reshuffle that delegation round. And I think that's a really cool initiative and a really good approach. But this is the official announcement for it. Let me just pull it up for you. This is a blog post that they put out on Medium. And it talks all about the reverse ISO. So all the details that I just mentioned on what they're trying to achieve, all in here if you want to read it in detail. Now this reverse ISO is only going for one epoch, so five days. But for some people it should be enough to entice users off the current stake pools where they are in that top 40 pools and move them off to the other pools. So the other, I think 230 pools to choose from. So you can move off your delegation to one of those pools and earn that little bit more Sunday swap tokens for them. So they've allocated an extra 20 million. So every five epochs, it was 20 million anyway. So nothing really changes there. Now, if we go further down this article, there are some other highlights I'd like to point out. Now there were quite a few community members uh, even the Sunday swap scoopers. Um, no, I'm not a scooper, but an ISO pool. And we were encouraging delegation to move off for the greater good of decentralizing the Cardano blockchain. So, uh, yeah, so we were doing a lot of that in the lead up for the end of this staking period. And I do highly encourage people to move their delegation around. I did a video about it, and you can check it out in the top right hand corner there and learn more opportunities in different places where you could possibly move your delegation to earn different tokens or help decentralized network or even help out some of these really cool mission driven pools on the Cardano blockchain. So let's go down a little bit further and there's a couple of things and a couple of key dates I want to point out. So the 14th we've already passed so that's the end of that ISO period and now we have this beginning of the reverse ISO on the 19th. So that will happen at 9:45 p.m. UTC on the on the 19th. So you need to move your delegation over just before that so that you'll be in that snapshot. So you need to look for these pools and I'll show you exactly how to do that. And then the reverse ISO ends on the 24th. So only for that five day period. So quite short, but enough to move your delegation around and hopefully maybe move again after that or maybe stay with the new operator too. Now after that period, they would have all the data that they need and you'll be able to claim your tokens after the 1st of March. So the, the claim process will start on the 1st, but you can claim it anytime after and you have a whole year to claim your Sunday swap tokens. Now they are distributing their tokens via the drip drops platform. So you do have to pay a small fee to trigger that and make that happen. But they're also putting in place a different mechanism and that will come later this year in Q2, they said, and you'll be able to claim your tokens for free on that platform. So for those users that don't have much ADA and sending in a little bit of ADA will cost them a small fortune really, you can wait that little bit longer and claim your Sunday swap tokens through the secondary method that they're building out so that you're not forking over uh, ADA at the moment just to claim those tokens. So please keep that in mind. So how do we go about choosing one of these reverse ISO pools? They've put out uh, all these pools on their website and you can find it at iso.sundayswap.finance slash hash slash reverse hyphen pools. And you can find all of them here. There are a lot to go through. As you can see, I'm just gonna scroll quickly. 
it goes on forever and ever. So it's it's up to you now to find one of these state pool operators uh, that uh, maybe have stake and delegation on there. Maybe they've minted blocks before. We need to go through each one of those and work out exactly which one we may want to delegate to. I'll just scroll down here. I can see quite a few pools that I recognize on these ticker names. So a lot of these off the top of my head are actually really good pools to delegate to. Um, but you need to do your own research and work out exactly which one to delegate to. There, Like I said, there's so many to choose from. Now, if you haven't yet used the rewards calculator as well, they do have the rewards calculator on that on the website as well. You just need to add in your receiving address on here to find out exactly how much Sunday swap tokens you may be earning. So if you're on your Roy or Daedalus, click on receive and the top address there that you see, just copy that and paste it into the address bar here. And I'll demonstrate with my NAMI one. You can paste in your address. It's a very long address. Click on estimate rewards and it will tell you exactly how much, how much you'll be earning. So you can see here from the snapshot, uh, so each one of the snapshots that have come through, I've earned a little bit more here. I've got uh, 258 or so one Sunday swap token and it increases a little bit more as I added in some more ADA. So that's pretty cool. So if you want to know how much Sunday swap tokens you have uh, earned, just put in your address there and you'll find out. And like I said, you can claim after the 1st of March. Now, if you haven't managed to get a swap in yet or you haven't managed to process an order, now is actually a really good time to do so. With some of the scaling parameters that have been put in place over the last couple of weeks, we've seen the queues drop down dramatically. So we saw, uh, for example, the Sunday swap queue go from 7,000 down to just 800 in the queue at the moment. That's how many orders are waiting to be processed. And you can see the only other queues that are really deep at the moment, or if you can call them deep, is World Mobile and the Meld one with six orders and five orders waiting to process. So compared to what it was at launch, this is a lightning fast as it is. If you wanna find that queue process, just go to the exchange on the left-hand side, click on queue, and you can find all of the orders that are waiting to be processed on Sunday Swap. Now, if you're still having problems putting in an order or you haven't done so yet, or maybe you're using one of the other wallets such as Uroi or Daedalus and you don't have NAMI or CC Vault uh, set up so you can't connect to the site and do a swap, now is your opportunity to actually buy it on a centralized exchange. And the announcement came out today and Sunday Swap is actually going to be another token that's listed on BitTrue. I think that's how you say it, true. And you'll be able to order and buy Sunday swap tokens directly on the exchange from February 15th. They have a particular time here. It's February 15th at 3 a.m. UTC, and you'll be able to order Sunday swap tokens directly from the exchange and buy it directly from there. So if you haven't managed to get orders through on the Sunday swap decks, you'll be able to do it on the BitTrue exchange. So congratulations to the Sunday Swap team. Being listed on exchange is quite a big accomplishment for a project and having it on there is a real tick of approval and another goal for the Cardano ecosystem. And speaking of goals in the ecosystem, let's pull up DeFi Llama and see what's going on there. So DeFi Llama is a great place to have a look at how much value is locked in very smart contracts. So when you're providing liquidity, to the Sunday Swap deck so it can operate, you'll be earning the rewards from the fees that come through for providing that liquidity. And we can watch these numbers go up. So since the 24th of Feb, we've seen it go down a little bit and then it's peak up and it's well over that 100 million value locked within the ecosystem at the moment, which is absolutely amazing for a Sunday Swap. So congratulations there as well. Now we can also zoom out a little bit and have a look at what's going on across the Cardano ecosystem on DeFi Llama and we can see it's now ranked 27th out of the blockchains that are uh, have that have smart contract capabilities and have value locked into those particular smart contracts. I believe when Sunday Swap or I, it wasn't Sunday Swap, it was when Vi Finance first uh, launched and had their value displayed on here. We we're down at 120 or something. So it's, it's a, quite a good jump within a month to see that uh, come up to position 27. And we can also drill down a little bit further and have a look at what what makes up that uh, 27th position and the value locked in there. And we can see Sunday swap on top at 100, 111 million. Uh, and we can see the daily seven day change uh, uh, increase there. And that's probably because of the scaling uh, 
playing out and orders actually going through now as well. So we can get uh, more of that value actually on the decks. Followed by Meld, and we know that uh, they've been uh, opened up their staking app and you can now stake and lock in your Meld tokens on the platform as well. If you haven't done that yet, you can check out the video there in the top right hand corner and learn how to stake your Meld tokens. Furthermore, we have Vi Finance, absolutely fantastic platform and they've been doing some really great things, Muesli Swap and Addix Pro down there as well. And they've released uh, version 1.1 of their decks. So I'll be having a look at what's changed from the feedback that the community have given the uh, team there and see what they've actually uh, improved within the decks itself. So congratulations again to the Sunday Swap team. They've done an absolutely amazing job to get the protocol to where it is now, listed on Bitru very, very soon. And of course, provided a decentralized exchange for the Cardano ecosystem so we can play around in the DeFi space. They are one of the first ones that launched and pioneered a lot of this stuff here for us all. And congratulations again to the team. Now, if you haven't moved your ADA yet or your stake, there are many different opportunities. Again, I did a big long video of all the ISPOs that are out at the moment and how you can actually split your wallet and do multi-pool delegation using CC Vault. And you can delegate to multiple different projects all at the same time. Links to it there in the top right hand corner for you if you haven't seen it yet. So that's it for me for this video. Again, if you do enjoy this content, please consider giving me a thumbs up, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and you hear more great Kadana content from me soon. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.